is showtime at Williams Grove Speedway. Drag race into turn number one, and Dietz will lead the field into one. He nearly gets sideways. Macri, the first car off of turn number two, and he'll lead them down the back streets with Chase Dietz in hot pursuit. Brian Brown in third, isn't he? Oh, red flag him. in turn number two. Car flipping violently on the back stretch. The 21C of Matt Campbell, the car upside down. Green about to come back out right now. Macri. Make sure it isn't close this time. Gets to the first turn first. Pulls away from the field on the backstretch. Lance DeWeese driving by Brian Brown on the start. Lance working the bottom of the racetrack. Sisney slams the door on him. Here comes Lance off the bottom and looking really good. Drives by Sisney. He's up to third, and here he comes. Chase Deeds trying to close it on Macri. He's cut about half a second off Macri's advantage the last two laps as Macri's fired in thick lap traffic. Deeds, cut, Deeds cuts another three tenths of a second off. Chase Deeds is roping in Anthony Macri off a of turn two. Macri struggling a bit in traffic. Deeds working the inside off turn number four. He is right there. Chase Deeds trying to get to the lead and lead his first career laps with the Flow All-Stars. He's got his hands full. Macri getting through lap traffic. Deeds trying to do the same. Anthony Macri struggles in the yellow flies. Yellow flag for the 5W of Lucas Wolf. Green is out as they race to the cone. Chase Deeds with an excellent restart there, Bruce. Stays close to Macri. Look at Brett Marks side by side for third. Marks going after Lance DeWeese for third as they nearly come together at the bridge. Marks can't make the pass from one and two. Let's see what he's got in three and four. DeWeese on the inside. Marks is all over Lance DeWeese. Three cars battling for second. Here comes Marks on the outside again. Turn number four. DeWeese on the inside of Dietz. Nobody can make the pass, but DeWeese tries again inside one and two. They Red are, Marks off the cushion. They are closing on Anthony Macri by the thinnest of margins. Dietz lap with 10 laps to go. One of these three going to have to find their way through to start to close on Macri if Macri can hang on the win. DeWeese the second. second. The bottom may be coming in because DeWeese is looking very good down there right now. Cut eight tenths of a second off that lap. Lance DeWeese roaring to life in the 69K car. DeWeese chasing down Anthony Macri with eight to go. Absolutely. The bottom is coming in and here comes DeWeese. Macri still working the outside. DeWeese on the bottom. Deweese is better in three and four than he is in one and two. Macri getting aggressive in lap traffic, and that's exactly what he's going to have to do if he wants to hold off a charging Lance Deweese. 1.383 last time, this time 1.504. So Anthony Macri adding to his lead over Lance Deweese and has now a pair of lap cars between himself and the 69K. Two laps left in this one. Marks chasing Deweese into turn number one. Marks off the cushion. Deweese slides up in front of him. Marks is right there on the back stretch. Marks has to lift to let Deweese get to the bottom and trap him. But here comes Marks back on the high side. The Myers Town missile absolutely flying as the white flight flies. Macri's working off of turn number two right now. Two times in his career, Anthony Macri has won with the Flow Racing All Stars. He's got one career victory here at Williams Grove, and now he's an all-star winner at the Grove. His third career all-star victory happens at Williams Grove during the Jack Gun Memorial.